What's up guys? Welcome back to another Commander Deck Tech. This time we are doing pirates and lots and lots of them. So we got our two commanders here, Breaches, Brazen Plunderer, and Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator. So now Breaches, when one or more pirates you control deals combat da deals damage to your opponents. Exile the top card of each of those opponents' libraries. You may play these cards until... You may play these cards this turn, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. And then with Malcolm, whenever one or more pirates you control deals damage to your opponents, you create a treasure token for each opponent dealt damage. So these two work really well to, with each other. You get to play cards off of your opponent's decks, all that fun jazz. And this is the deck I've been toying around with. It could be a little bit better, but I enjoy it. And like always, the deck list is down below. I am not going to go over the lands for the deck. I feel like the lands are just kind of the long portion, but they will be in the deck list. If you want to click the deck list in the description and check out the entire list, it will be there for you. In case you want to build this deck yourself, go check it out. So let's jump into this. Like always, kicking it off with the creatures of the deck. We have a Kite Sail, Skirmisher, a Spectral Sailor, Prosperous Pirates. Czar Renegade Recruiter. I actually really like this pirate. Uh, when she attacks, look at defending player's hand. You may put a creature card onto the battlefield from their hand. Under your control, tap and attacking that player. Or a Planeswalker they control. Return that creature to its owner's hand at the beginning of the end step. So it gets you a look into your opponent's hands. Gets you an extra creature on the board. And gets you an extra attacking body, which is great. So let's go to the next one. Siren Storm Tamer. Merchant Raiders. When Merchant Raiders or another pirate enters the battlefield under your control, tap up to one creature. That creature does not untap during its controls. Untap step as long as you control Merchant Raiders. So another way to tap some creatures down, get some blockers out of the way. Drago, the Shipwrecker. Now, I... He's in here mainly for the trample. I mean... I don't find myself casting him a whole lot, but he is a pirate and he's a 7-5, so that's a little bit big. We got a boarding party, has haste and cascade. Slippery scoundrel, has ascend. As long as you have the city's blessing, it has hexproof and can't be blocked, so you'll always be getting some damage in. We got burnished heart, one of my favorite cards in the game. Burdened aerialist, when it enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. When you sacrifice a token, Burnished Aerialist gains flying until end of turn, which is good with this because you're going to be making a lot of tokens to sacrifice. Brineborn Cutthroat. Stormkill Artist makes some more treasure tokens to sacrifice. And it gets plus 1 plus 0 for each artifact you control. And we'll be making a lot of treasures. Alright, Stormfleet Sprinter. Another hasty boy and can't be blocked. Hoarding Ogre. It is not a pirate, but every time it attacks, you roll a d20 and you make treasures according to the number you rolled. So one of these three effects here. Crimson Fleet Commander. When it enters the battlefield, com I mean, Crimson Fleet Commodore. When it enters the battlefield, you become the Monarch. It also has Trample. Almond Speaker for a little bit of scrying. Brazen Freebooter. When it enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. Daring Saboteur, another creature that can't be blocked if you pay the, you can pay three to make it unblockable. And when it deals damage to a player, you may draw a card, and if you do, discard a card. Thassa, Deep Dwelling, and it lets you flicker one of your creatures every turn, which is very helpful with getting your, some, some of your effects off. And you can also pay four to tap something. Pilgrim's Eye for some land search and it's a flyer impulsive pilfer when it dies create a treasure token and then it has encore so you make a copy for each opponent you control and then they get haste and then at the end of the turn sacrifice them we have the fleet admiral here another card that gives you monarch and it can't be bl blocked by creatures the monarch controls so if one of your opponents hits you and becomes a monarch it can't get blocked Captain Vargas Wrath, uh, when it attacks, pirates you control get plus one, plus one, 
till the end of turn for each time you cast your commander from the command zone this game with two commanders this could get out of hand pretty quickly lightning rig crew this card is amazing you tap it you deal one damage to each opponent and then whenever you cast a pirate spell you untap it so that with these cards you can trigger them multiple times with your light rigging crew if you have other pirates to play so that's always great captain ripley vance when you cast your third spell each turn put a plus one plus one counter on captain ripley vance then it deals damage to any target equal to its power so there's no there, there's some turns where you might get to the third spell but not many but it is just another pirate to have in the deck rapacious dragon gives you some treasure tokens Amphin mutineer it is a pirate and when it enters the battlefield exile up to one target non-salamander creature that creature's controller creates a 4-3 salamander warrior so it helps deal with some of the problems or an adopter of paradise for a little mana dork fanatical firebrand for its tap ability also it is a pirate which is great for us because like i said we love pirates all right that is all the creatures in the deck guys so we only have two enchantments in the deck one of those being goblin war drums it gives all your attacking creatures menace and then omen of the sea to scry and draw and those are the only two enchantments i'm running in the deck now there are other cards we can run like Furnace of Wrath maybe or something to that effect to double our damage especially with Lightning Rig, Lightning Rig Crew but I'm not running it. Alright so for Artifacts we're running Commander Spear, Lightning Greaves, Manolith, our Military Spear, Arcane Signet, Traveler's Amulet, Soul Ring, Swiftfoot Boots, Pirate's Cutlass because it's on theme, and Herald's Horn. So Herald's Horn, whenever it enters the battlefield, you choose a creature type, so obviously you choose Pirates. It makes creatures of the chosen type cost one less, and at the beginning of keep, you can look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature card of the chosen type, you may reveal it and put it in your hand. So it gets you an extra card once in a while. But that is it for the artifacts for instance we're running some removal pongify we're running blink of an eye to flick or something if need be we have a couple of counter spells because we need some counter magic in blue we got loose focus cancel saw it coming and that's it so just a couple of counter spells in this deck we're also running Brainstorm, Telling Time, Mental Journey, and Opt in this deck. And that rounds out our instance for sorceries. We got probably the best sorcery for this deck. Brass is Bounty. It's right on theme. Makes a bunch of treasures equal to the number of lands we control. Infernal Plunge is an additional cast to cast this. Eh, as an additional cost to cast this card, Sacrifice Creature. And add three red mana to your mana pool. Mystic Speculation, so we can manipulate the top of our deck. Anticipate more deck manipulation. Preordain for a little more deck manipulation. Pirate's Prize, some draw. Flood of Recollection, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand, so we get some more use out of our instance of sorceries. Portent of Betrayal, gain control of target creature until end of turn, it gains haste, and you can scry so some more um, deck manipulation and to take control of one of their creatures. And then the last card in deck is Days Undoing, guys. I love this card. Now, being able to play a card and knowing when to play a card is two different things. There's definitely one of those cards at the right part of the game. It is great but some people really don't like this card i enjoy it but guys that is this deck tech for breaches and malcolm leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think if you guys have any suggestions for this deck definitely leave it down below i am not the best magic player out there but i am always open to suggestions this is how i play this deck in my play group and it's been working fine for me 
but I'm always open to suggestions, like I said. So I will see you guys in the next video. Keep an eye out. We'll have more Commander deck techs coming, and I'll see you guys later.